Hey guys, my name is Richard Price, and today we're going to be taking a look at NOCO's newest jump starter. Uh, that's the NOCO GB150. So, what we're going to do here, the game plan is to open up the box, take a look at what it comes with, explain some of the features, and take a look at some of the safety features of the unit. And then we're actually going to show you a field test of the GB150 in action, so you can get a feel for how it actually is in use, uh, if you were looking to make this purchase. Uh, so first, let's take a look at the actual GB150 itself. So here's the GB150. And here are the accessories that it comes with. So, the GB150. As you can see, a uh, pretty heavy duty unit. Um, probably one of the one of the uh, big things with NOCO company is obviously presentation but also construction and quality. Um, this is military grade plastic everything on here is heavy duty the clamps themselves are all pure copper um, surrounded by heavy duty plastic housing and a thick gauge cable. Um, all important stuff whenever you're dealing with any type of battery technology especially lithium a lot of the jump starters you see on the marketplace today that have the small, very small gauge wires and very thin or small clamps that, you know, no name brand or, you know, something you haven't heard for a really, really cheap price, you get what you pay for. Um, now let's go into some of the features of the GB150 and then we'll actually get to the accessories as we go through them. So the GB150 itself comes with a few cool things uh, that that we found particularly useful when we field tested the, the product. Um, the first of which is gonna be an LED voltage reader. Uh, obviously you'll see how that works in the, in the actual demonstration, but basically it'll give you a, a true idea of where your battery's sitting in terms of its state of charge. You know how dead dead is. So if you need to immediately take your car to a mechanic to get a new battery, or if you can make it home to a battery charger, you're gonna have a good idea of what's going on. Uh, obviously you have your power button here. The GB150 unit itself, uh, it takes about four hours to fully charge if it's 100% dead. Um, it, in the 100% dead phase, if you charge it for about 15 minutes, you'll get your first jump start out of it. On a full charge, the GB150 is capable of producing 80 jump starts. Now when we field tested it the first time, uh, we had a battery that was at about four volts and we turned the truck over about six times uh, before we called it quits. And that was at the 50% charge level. We've charged it up all the way since then. Uh, another nice feature of this particular unit uh, is going to be the 500 lumens LED light. This is gonna come in handy, comes in seven modes, uh, the SOS standard classic. And to do that, you can just scroll through all these different options on it. Um, and now we're gonna get into where some of the accessories are gonna come into play for the GB150 unit. You're gonna have two ports. The first is gonna be your out, and the second is gonna be your in ports. And I'll show you what actually goes to these particular ports here. So inside of the GB150 box, you're gonna get a neat little tool. Cord to hook up the neat little tool. A micro USB uh, cord for either charging or charging the GB150 or charging anything else that takes a micro USB. And of course, wouldn't be the same without your NOCO carrying case. So, first, micro USB cord, pretty standard stuff, nothing new there. This is by far the most exciting thing that we've seen from the GB series line. Basically, this little thing gives you two options. You can either charge your GB150 from the vehicle, which you've been able to do that with all the GB series, but this is brand new. This allows you to actually use the GB150 for things that it's not particularly capable of. So if you had a tire pump or you had any other thing that, that requires a charge or a, a solid power source, this can act as a power supply for whatever you need it for. Anything that has a cigarette style adapter plug uh, will be able to run directly off the GB150 as a power source. And how this hooks up. So Obviously you're out, you're flowing power out of the GB150 and you're putting power back in. Now this particular plug here, this is how it's gonna hook up. Plug this into the out. 
and then you plug in, which I dropped on the floor, you plug in this, and there's your power supply. You'll be able to use this anytime, as long as the GB150 unit is on, these ports will work. Um, now, even if the GB150 is off, your in ports are still gonna work, obviously, to charge the unit. So and that, that works in the exact opposite. You plug in your micro USB here, uh, or you can use your cigarette adapter that it comes with to charge it from the car. And then you have your USB port here to charge you know, smartphones, tablets, things like that. Now, in terms of what you use to charge the GB150, uh, if you don't want to use your car adapter, you can use any standard cell phone charger or laptop, anything that has a USB plug that is meant to charge. So that is it for the, the actual demonstration here. Uh, just a side note before we go to the for the um, uh, product demo, the safety features of the GB150. Uh, the GB150 itself uh, is spark proof, protects against reverse polarity, overcharging of the unit itself, overcurrent, so if you were to start your car and something went massively wrong with the, with the way your car started, let's say it was open short in the battery, um, or basically a dead short in your battery and it pumps a ton of juice into the GB150, it'll shut down immediately. Um, you know, it protects against open circuits and most importantly, it protects against overheating. Uh, as you've heard, I'm sure if you're looking into lithium jump starters, there's been some several, several issues with these either getting extremely warm while they're in use uh, or actually some of the smaller like rinky dig ones catching on fire. Uh, with the protective circuitry in the new GB series line, uh, you're fully protected, fully safe. None of that's going to be a possibility with this particular unit. Um, some of the overall specs, it produces 4,000 amps, uh, 22,500 joules. Uh, it can start a 10 liter gas or a 10 liter diesel engine, even with the glow plugs. Um, so this is a, a heavy duty jump starter. This replaces an actual carry-on jump style pack that weighs about 20-25 pounds. Um, so this is going to be a serious uh, uh, jump start. That's why it's called the Boost Pro series. All right, so let's go take a look and see how it works. Okay guys, so we have a uh, V8 uh, 4.6 liter Triton engine here in a, uh, a Ford truck uh, with a super dead battery. Uh, the battery itself, I have a voltmeter here. I'm not sure if you can see it. I'll try and set it up so you can. Uh, but the battery itself is sitting at 1.78 volts, uh, so it's beyond dead at this point. And we're going to use the uh, manual feature of the GB150, the manual override, to actually start this. So let's go and hook it up. When you hook this thing up, I recommend you leave the unit off first uh, when you're hooking it up, just as a safety precaution. Uh, so we have our positive to positive, negative to negative directly on the battery itself. Uh, we power on our, our GB150 here. Um, now, typically when you have a battery that's above two volts, you're going to see the uh, voltmeter, the LED voltmeter light up with the particular voltage of the battery. But since ours is so discharged or dead, uh, that's not gonna actually function until you do what's called a manual override. And to do that, you hold down this exclamation mark here for about five seconds. And this is going to basically override uh, the shutdown of the unit if it's less than two volts. So this allows you to literally jumpstart anything, no matter how discharged it is. Um, when you get this particular light, you see your voltmeter is working right now. It's pumping 11.5 volts into the battery as we speak. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and just give it a go here. I have a remote start, which comes in handy for this video. So as you can see, it's fired right up off a, a battery that's at 1.68 volts. And you saw the voltage meter go up as well to compensate for the alternator, which is pumping charge in the battery. And we're just gonna give it one more go because we can. Pretty cool, right? <laughs> 